welcome back. I hope that you have had a really blessed week. Uh, we are rocking and rolling. I have the studio lights back on, finally. Uh, I felt better last week and then I had a few really rough days and then this week I seem to be on the road to recovery again. So I thought, right, let's give it a go. Let's put the studio lights on. Let's give you some light, you know. It's been so dark for so long and it's really, really dark in Britain. You wouldn't think that we're in the middle of summer. You, you really wouldn't think that. It's so dark and miserable and rainy and rubbish um, out there at the moment. And so let's get a bit of light onto the matter today. So what we're gonna do today is uh, for those of you that are in no contact, are they going to contact you and when? When being, you know, the, the timing of this reading. So it always works on the mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. And if you want to look at individual timings, you can just give me a shout. I just got really out of breath pregnancy, I tell you. Oh, right, deck number one and deck number two. So we're using kind of the more earthly decks but also the, the more mystical deck so this is the mystic fairy tarot by uh, linda ravencroft she's based in glastonbury she's an absolutely lovely lady and uh, she has her own art studio down there and if you if you like the more mystical artwork um this lady's artwork is phenomenal i'll just show you a couple of the pictures so you can see um she's really really good i love her artwork um i actually have a piece of her artwork down there and i, I never really i have it up in my old house and then when we moved here i never put it up and then the second one is also a mystical deck and this is by Bab Studios and it is the mystical something or other. Haven't got the deck case right in front of me so I can't speak. Oh I have. The mythical, mythical creatures tarot. It's not even mystical, it's mythical. Okay so deck number one and deck number two. You and your person. So think about your person. Feel that heart energy that you have towards your person, your emotions, your love and push it to the deck that you are most drawn to, okay? So as I said, we work on the strongest mutual energy, we being me and my guides, um, go into all your energy, all your people's energy, and pull out the strongest energy between you all. Okay, deck number one. So let's see what comes up. For those of people that are in no contact that have chosen deck number one, can we get into the strongest energy of everyone? It's a bit like how you would work out the average of maths in school when they said, oh, add all these numbers and work out the average. It's how collective readings work, how we work with collective readings. It's going into all of your energy, which is what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to go into all your people's energy, which is now what we're doing. All their people's energy and their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes of their people. And then we go for the strongest energy between you all. Okay. So if anything doesn't resonate, normally it comes up at a later date. And then obviously when we do private readings, it is just focusing on you and your person, not a collective. It's just your energy with your person. Okay, so let's see. Is the person for, is their people for deck number one going to reach out to them and when? any contact coming in straight away straight away we have the eight of wands jumping out card of movement and this movement is kind of happening now are they going to reach out my guide is actually saying to only get five cards today um which is quite interesting hmm. normally we work with about eight but my guide is definitely saying five so with this kind of energy coming up over here, the song, we're getting a song and um, it was definitely by Cher because I can see her and it's definitely the song she sang about time, but I cannot remember what the lyrics were, but I can just see Cher on stage talking about time. Now one of you guys, because I know you're all much better, uh, you know, there's so many songs out there and when Spirit throws songs on me, I, I don't always know them. <laughs> I know the pagan music, you know, if they started singing Dave the Bard at me, I'd be like, oh yeah, 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 I know the lyrics to these off by heart, but uh, when it comes to Cher, I'm not, she's not my, um, she's not my forte. Okay, interesting cards. So straight away we have this movement coming forward from your person. We have this communication stepping forward and there is a definite, definite reaching out to you when, anytime anytime now it's the immediate future so we have an immediate future a near future and a long-term future immediate future i tend to take from now up to about three months 
Near future, I tend to take from three to six months and longer term future, six months to a year. Now, tarot only really goes up to a year for an accurate read. So sometimes when we're doing readings um, and you're asking questions, it can go beyond a year and that for the accurate read, you kind of need that, that recap a year later. But for right here, right now with your guys, you have got contact coming in in the immediate future. So anytime now, anytime now, really strong movement stepping in from your person. Spirit are saying to me that they have missed you. And I'm hearing with that um, Letters to You by Finch. There's another song coming forward there. We're going to have a playlist today. Letters to You by Finch. I want you to know that I miss you. I miss you so. Your person um, has been going for a bit of a dark time. Well, it's interesting because we have the tower over here. They've been going for a bit of a dark time, a bit of a heavier energy. And even, Spirit saying, even if you've seen it on social media, that they're really happy and everything's great, it's not the case. There is a very, very heavy energy around your person at the moment. They're feeling quite lost, feeling a little bit confused, a little bit lost and a little bit uncertain on what pathway they should be taking. So what's happening is kind of through this energy of no contact with you guys, they are really missing you. They're missing the connection, they're missing the communication. They're missing the bond that the two of you share and they're missing the love. So from this tower hitting, you have this movement. Now the towers, so tower, we've always kind of talked about towers, but a big T tower, little T tower, big things happening in your person's life, little things happening in your person's life, which seem like big things, okay? So these towers are likely uh, to be other circumstances rather than you, but Spirit also saying some of you guys, these towers have happened for you both. Okay, now these towers, people always kind of see the tower as a bit of a negative card and, and it comes out in the reading like, oh my God, effing tower, shit, what do I do about that? But actually, you know, towers are always quite a positive card the way I see it because when things have got stagnant, when things aren't quite working, this tower has to hit for things to be rebuilt and re rewritten in a more positive direction. And that is exactly what is happening with you and your person. So they're having physical towers around them for your no contact. So other issues going on. So it could be family issues, could be friends issues, money issues, health issues, all that kind of stuff happening over here. Also potentially tower issues with you guys, but this is what's gonna make them make the movement towards you in the immediate future. We've got this Ace of Cups, Six of Cups and Two of Cups, uh, sorry, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands and Two of Cups. So really, really positive cards over here. When, when this movement comes towards you, you have your Ace of Cups and these two kind of jumped out one after the other. So making movement towards you based on a more romantic new beginning. So your person's probably going to express to you their feelings, probably express to you their emotions, talk to you about their love and how they feel for you. And the cup is full. OK, so it's a cup full of love, a love cup coming your way and um, where they talk to you about their emotions for you and say how much they love you, how much they've missed you. With the two of cups over here, this is your kind of true love card. Um, and I just got with that, again, another playlist, Beauty and the Beast, Tale as Old as, tale as, old as Time. Um, very, very strong love connection between you guys that has probably been around for millions, well, hundreds of centuries. Um, probably a lot of past life energy with you guys, potentially past life karma. If you need a past life reading, give me a shout. But you have this very, very strong connection. And through that, and will they contact you? You've got an absolute yes coming up over here. It's so very, very strong energy between you guys of them reaching out to you. Now, the interesting card that jumped up over here is the Seven of Swords, and it's in reverse. Okay, so when we kind of come back to the Tower, Seven of Swords is like about deception, wearing masks, like not quite being honest, lying to themselves about things, when it's the right way up. Now, when it's in reverse and we have the tower next to it, this is suggesting that anywhere that they have kind of been lying to themselves about the situation, saying that they don't need you, saying that they, they don't miss you, saying that everything's fine and I'm absolutely great and I'm doing the most phenomenal life that I can do, that has flipped, okay? So they've got these, oh, I wish the cards wouldn't fall on the floor and you've got a bump growing and you just cannot bear, I can't bend the way I used to. Um, so you've got this release of these negative emotions, negative feelings that your person has been holding on to, this feeling and sense of being trapped um, and this mask that they've been wearing, tower hitting, movement coming forward. So we know that from this tower hitting, this is what has caused this reversal in these emotions, the reversal of I'm all right without you, I don't need you. This energy has been reversed. The tower has hit and you have movement. So the contact is coming in any time now. 
any time now. How exciting is that? You will hear from your person in the immediate future. I love it. I love it. Okay, guys, and that is deck number one. So I'm sending you all tons of love. Have a totally blessed week. Um, you've still got me till November, and then I'm probably going to have, I think, roughly about three month off video readings, but I'm probably still going to do email readings. I might even do voice recording email, uh, voice, voice recording emails, voice recording uh messages for you and I'm doing Publix now so that you've got them for when I'm away so I'm not going to vanish into the sunset as soon as little one arrives I am still going to be here so please don't freak out please don't panic um we will still be around we being me and the guides will still be around okay um so you've still got me for like what another four months I think where are we now July August September October November still got four months all right um I love you all to pieces I will speak to you soon have a totally blessed week ciao my loves Okay guys, deck number two. So as I said at the very start, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. It goes into all your energy, all your people's energy, and it pulls out the strongest mutual energy between you all. I love bridging these cards. Marion hates me when it's Baba Studios. She's my friend. Um, but when she's like, that's Baba Studios cards, don't do that. But I can't help it. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, or thought processes? If you haven't looked at Baba Studios got cards, I would go have a look. They are absolutely beautiful. They can cost a bit, bit of money, but they are... Um, I think I have two decks by Baba Studios, but they are beautiful. Right, think about your person, person thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And or possibilities, probabilities, choices, choices, and changes. Right, let's see. Are they going to contact you and when? Debt number two, is that person going to contact them and when? Let's see what spirits say. Let's see what the cards say. It's really interesting. So the first card that jumped out is the Empress. And as this card has jumped out, Spirit is saying really clearly to me, Oh, Earth Mother. So there's a lot of uh, very strong energy around you lot watching as this kind of more Empress energy. Are they going to reach out? Going to get in contact. Okay. Okay. Right, so let's have this one as well because he's staring me in the face. At the moment, with the Earth Mother energy coming forward right at the start is kind of this need for grounding at the moment. So Spirit is saying this because right at this point in time, you've probably been quite in your mind over the connection. Now we always know that where energy goes, emotions, where, sorry, where emotions flow, energy grows and that's why emotion energy in motion if you ever struggle to remember that so because you guys have been in this heavier energy because things are being very much in your mind energy we need to counteract that energy so i know a lot of people will say to you go for a walk do this that and the other and sometimes i can find that a little bit airy fairy but the reason why people will say to you to go out in nature and to ground yourself is often because you are in your mind. So if we think of the planet we have the air above us and we have the earth beneath us right it's just the way of physics is how it works. So the air energy is often to do with the mind and the earth energy is often to do with grounding and stability. So when we are too much in our mind and we are thinking and we are overthinking and we are overanalyzing, it's really important to get into that earth energy. So it will just ground the situation around you. And that's why they're saying earth mother, okay? Remember who you are. But do try and keep yourself a little bit more stable with the situation, trying to get out of your mind. So lots of walks. If you don't fancy a walk, lots of root vegetables, stuff that's come from earth. So carrots, potatoes, any of that kind of I've grown in the earth. Um, or maybe even on top of the earth if you want watermelons and things like that, if you fancy a bit of melon. Um, any kind of natural fruits and things like that will help to take you out of your mind energy. Also spring water, natural spring water. I know that's more about water and your emotions, but it also helps that level of grounding. Now, like I said, the reason why this is coming up first and foremost is because you're very much in your mind over the connection at the moment. You've got doubts, you've got fears, you've got worries, you've got concerns, and it's clogging the energy from moving forward. So you guys are probably trying to manifest. You're probably trying to move things forward, but then you're blocking it because your mind is going 10 to a dozen. So when you do feel that you're going on the spiral, 
really important to get outside or do those kind of grounding abilities grounding energy you could also if you don't want to go outside get some beautiful herbs some crystals and have a beautiful bath with it all and some essential oils all that kind of energy to keep you more grounded and like i said what will happen then is it's just going to stop clogging any manifestations that are going on on your pathway so you've been remember it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to come into reality so if you are sitting there and dwelling on this more negative energy it's going to manifest into your reality and that's the first thing that's coming up that's the first thing spirit wants to talk to me about it's kind of clogging the energy it's not a, it's not going to happen with you guys it's not that they're not going to contact you it's just getting delayed the reason why it's getting delayed is there's blocks not just on your part on your person's part as well so what you could do with that um to kind of clear their blocks as well is anywhere where you you know you do go outside and you do have your fruit just say or, or your vegetables just say to spirit to the universe beforehand anywhere that i take this energy into me can i echo it onto blah and um, so that they feel the benefits of it as well and it will take them out of their mind energy as well neat trick okay so are they going to contact you? We have definitely got a truth coming forward of this situation. A real universal truth. So it's been a bit stagnant. It's been a bit sloppy, Spirit saying. Nothing really has been progressing with it. Um, and you're feeling that they've cut you off. And I just, yeah, yeah. You're feeling that they cut you off. Um, that perhaps they're just getting on with their lives. And, you know, that they are just ignoring you and things like that. But it's really interesting with this truth card coming up. That the truth of the situation is going to be revealed. So we're not talking necessarily about um, a negative and negative truth. It's likely to be the truth of the connection between you guys guys between you ghosts between you guys uh ghost is in ghosting that was a psychic slip happening over there truth of the situation truth of the emotions kind of coming up to the surface and that is what is going to create action so bit stagnant bit down not much really happening but through that you have this truth of a situation it's sometimes only through loss that we realize what we want and this is where this movement will come towards you it is further away okay so in deck number one I explain the difference between the immediate future the near future and the longer term future normally I see immediate as one to three months near three to six months and longer term six months to a year the timing on this you're probably looking around six months as your collective energy three to six months we would say so the near future you've got contact coming in from your person which leads to your overall success of it all so you have your happy outcome at the end of it but there is definitely a delay on it let's have a look at what is causing the delay what is causing the delay we know the mind energy is causing a delay but let's see what else is causing a delay in the contact what's causing a delay in the new contract yeah so at the moment your person is kind of pleading a little bit ignorant to their emotions uh they're a little bit worried that if they suddenly jump back and message you the same thing is going to history is going to repeat itself it got quite intense with, uh between you guys it got quite heavy and um, quite sad energy kind of coming up over here and your person is just being a little bit stubborn over it all at the moment and not making those moves towards you because they feel that history could repeat itself so when they do come back towards you it's really important that you guys both of you keep the conversation really light-hearted fun and flirty rather than bugging straight down to the seriousness of this shit that's happened between you guys in the past okay um we've kind of got with the devil card over here spirit is saying dancing with the devil to me so it is this kind of mind energy again these fears coming up to the surface devil can sometimes be the darker side of the lovers and this is also the, the chain the toxicity between you guys and um, so they're not going to go far because the connection is very very strong between you both but what they are doing at the moment is ignorance is bliss they're trying to avoid it and again reasons why is because it was very intense um they're very much in their mind over it all they're trying to just ignore it because you know if you brush a problem under the carpet it just disappears doesn't it not gonna work it won't work but they have to realize that on them, their own account okay so through them realizing that they're trying to brush it under the carpet this is where the truth of the situation gets revealed the truth then leads to movement and communication happening with you guys they are trying to keep balanced on it all at the moment. They are, they are, like I said, just trying to avoid, essentially avoid their mind over it all, avoid the situation, and they are cutting it off right now. Um, but 
when we're looking at the cards at the very start and what Spirit said about the mind energy, even though they are trying to cut it off at this point in time, it's not going to last. It won't last because your person um, is going to really miss you, miss the connection, especially with the devil card over here, wanting to reach back out to you, wanting to reconnect with you over the situation with you guys. And you over here in your Empress power, your beautiful, maternal, loving energy, um, they haven't had that with anyone else. And they never will. They are never, ever going to get the same kind of love that they get from you, from anyone else. Um, and your person knows that. They know that, but they just perhaps found the situation a little bit intense. Situations, circumstances around you guys meant that this explosion or, or this kind of distance happened between you both. But then there is the shift back into your favour as they reach out to you. So it will happen. There's just a delay. And the reason for the delay is because your person is trying to avoid the situation. And the reason, reason why they're avoiding it is because they're feeling very heavily bogged down by it. Um, and even though their mind is missing you and wanting you, they're very good at pr brushing it under the carpet, trying to say, no, 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 I'm absolutely fine. But we all know it's a load of bullshit. Um, your person will, they'll, they'll make those moves back towards you. But they need time to work that out for themselves, that they do miss you. Don't chase them. Really don't chase them because you'll back them into a corner. Let them come to you. You don't want to push them into a corner and then kind of go and pass the point of no return that they don't come back. Um, and that can happen if, you know, they're kind of running away and you're, you're chasing after them. They'll run further. And it's kind of this game of cat and mouse. And what happens is they, they go too far and then the returning becomes a lot harder. So just relaxing with it a little bit, giving them that space and giving them that time. And that will make them come back to you a lot quicker. Okay, and that is that number two. All right, my beauties, have a totally blessed week. I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you next Thursday. Uh, stay safe and look after yourselves. Lots of love, my loves. Bye.